there's, where you are working, there's a problem. Huh? Huh? That's true. There's a problem that you, sometimes you question, am I supposed to leave this job or what? That's true, Daddy. Huh? That's very but, true. But God wants to lift you. Don't leave the job. Something is about to happen. There's a, there's a business that will come through your husband. Business breakthrough is coming. Can you just stand up? Uh, let's hear this confirmation. Can you sing, you people, sing down, down that song? Where is Andres? And can you play that song? When you play that song, there's fire everywhere. There's anointing here. You know anointing? Anointing is like a sea. A sea. A sea is moving. When you enter, inside, you see that there's something here, like a great wave. Yes, yes. yes. Sister, you know what I'm talking about. Yes, eh? no, yes. Tell me what is happening to your work. Uh, this is our last month. This is your last month? Yes. Daddy. Can you just I believe things? Contact. Someone coming. Did you tell anyone about your job? Nobody. Did you tell mama? No, I didn't. I didn't. You didn't tell mama? No. Because uh, sometimes if you tell mama, mama can tell me. That is the last month this month. But I'm telling you that God is about to fight for you. Amen. Uh, yeah. There's a favor. You will get a job. You really get a job. Amen. You really get you just find yourself working. You carry on, come. Yes. My name is Lerato Ramasale. I'm coming from Bishley. Um, I confirm the prophecy to be true because at work, even a small problem at work, it becomes a big issue to an extent that they are terminating the contract, of which this is our last month at work, and then we'll be staying at home for six months until they find a space for us to another unit. So I would like to confirm that to be true. And I was very worried about my job. I didn't know what I was going to do until the six months come. So. And how did it affect you? <laughs> because the first time when I testified, I stayed at home for eight years without, with, without any job. So I testified. I was very worried. I was very, very worried because I'm going to sit at home for, for six months and then I'm going back to work. I don't even know where they are taking me, so I was very worried about that. And how are you feeling right now? Mm, I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm excited. I'm so happy. Touch me now, I come. God is hearing your prayer. Bless me now, Lord. There's a sister Bless. that is very much worried. Bless me your sister is having a child like this. Eh? Yeah, no. So don't worry. You people just believe because if God can touch your father, he can Bless touch everyone. God is hearing your prayers because you've Bless been crying for your father now. to be saved. Yes. Eh? Yes. So God is touching your father. And this problem of your sister will be finished in a marriage. You hear me? Okay. Can you just come? My name is Michael Mukawa, and then the prophecy that the man of God gave me is true, and yes, I believe I believe it. Why are you saying it's true? Refer it back to your life. What is really happening with your father, your job, and also your sister? Uh, well, first of all, my sister, she's about to get married this year, so the main concern about there was the the negotiation issue, the lawyer issue of which uh, she's been talking with my father about it. And then, so, so far, we haven't really gotten the feedback that we are looking for. So it's still in, it's still in a process. So right now, we're still waiting for my father to get back to, to, to her concerning the negotiation issue. And then, yeah. And the man of God also spoke about you. Oh, I also spoke about uh, my father not being saved, of which I confirm it to be true. Uh, he doesn't go to church. Mm -hmm. yes. And how are you feeling that the man of God has spoken about the things that are really happening in your life? Uh, well, uh, uh, first of all, uh, I've been praying uh, about God touching my father and changing his life. So it has really affected uh, uh, my life very, very negatively. So, But uh, I believe 
since the man of God said that God heard my prayers, uh, I believe that God will uh, will fulfill my heart desire and, 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 and the prayers that I've been praying. My sister, there's something you used to drink because of pains. It's true. Eh? It's the whole week, the whole of this week. I can't hear. The whole of this week until today morning. All right. I can't hear now. The whole of this week until today in the morning. You, you, should, you were drinking something because of pain. Yes, thank I want you to vomit it. Yes. Amen. Thing. Vomit this thing. Vomit it. Vomit it. This thing is causing problems also in your body. Um, my name is Lebohang. I come from Ivory Park. And the prophecy that I got today is very true. Why are you saying it's true? Um, because uh, daddy prophesied to me say that I'm drinking something for pills and it's true that the whole of this week until today morning I've been having occasional pains especially around lunchtime at work so I'll drink these pills even at night when I'm supposed to sleep it's always the case that I have to drink something. So I drink coke or I drink pills. And how did it affect you? It was so bad because we we busy, mostly we busy at work at lunchtime and I'll have pains, I'll, be, I'll not be able to participate in whatever that we are doing. Yeah. And today the man of God has prayed for you and he has also told you that whatever that you were taking was also affecting you. Were you aware that these pains are really affecting you? At some point I thought they were helping me but I thought that they were bringing more pain. I wasn't realizing because I thought I wanted them to go away just to go away so that I can be free. But how are you feeling right now as the man of God has prayed for you? I feel free and I believe that I will not have them anymore from today. After he prayed for me, I believe I'm free. Amen. I'm searching for you. Brother, this is a job that God wants to give you. Amen. Yeah, because you are struggling a lot. Yes, did. Yes. As Elvis Ramkola from Tem I'm coming from Tembisa. Mm -hmm. The professor, I will, they told me about I will, I will get v job very soon. Mm -hmm. Yes. And how long have you been searching for a job? Uh, since last year where I'm working, I got retreatment. After men of God, they told me about that one. But last year, he told me about a business. So I struggled to start a business. So today they confirm again. They say God will bless me with a job. And how are you feeling right now? No, I'm happy for what God will do it for me. You'll give us a testimony concerning a breakthrough in business that is coming. Amen. Very soon you are going to give us that testimony. Amen. Uh, And, uh, brother, this thing is bothering you. These people now, they are speaking louder now. Yes, every, yeah? every time I dream them. You dream them now, and Expe they want you to move out. Yeah, especially about their house at home. Huh? They want me to build their house. Yeah, they say this lady, she's a problem. Yes. So don't listen to them. They already possess you. Ouch! Ouch! Could you just lift him up? My sister, don't listen to them. Amen. Eh? As Amen. long as this man loves you, Amen. Eh? he Amen. will stand with you. Yes. These are the same people that are checking you people. Amen. It's not that this man is weak. Because that's the thing you are always... Even now, there is a lady who is here. Yeah. Yeah, she's standing with the family. She's standing with the family? Yes. Ah, you can hear that now. She's here in church. She's claiming that he has a child with him. She says she has got a child with and him. It's, and it's not true. We even have the DNA test to prove that. So you want me to call this lady? <laughs> no. ah. So you can hear that? It's a story. Eh? It's a story. So where is the lady? I don't know. I just heard that there was a lady. Did you see the lady? No, I was told by uh, Mr. Murak. So call her if you know. Gloria.
Ah, can you just go there? She's gone. Yes. Uh, Gloria, are you gone? Eh? She's a problem. We even went to court. She went. You went to court. Yes. And you did. You do DNA test. Everything. Yes. She say is your child. Yes. She's. There are two of my sisters who are standing with her. They say is your child. Yes. But this child does not look like you. It's not mine. Eh? It's not my child. Eh? Eh? Even light in complexion, yes. and you're not light. Yes. So, don't worry. Let's leave that. Let's leave that. You people, you have your own. You are blessed. Okay, my name is Todali Muzunga. I'm from Centurion, mm -hmm. and this is my wife, Win. Confirm the prophecy that you received from the man of God. Let's start with the one of business. Uh, it's true. I'm doing business, and uh, the, at the moment there was nothing, and so I was just believing for God for for a breakthrough. So now I believe that it will happen, as the man of God has said. And also, the man of God spoke about the lady who's accusing you. Yes, it's um, it's, it's something of. It's not something of now. It's something of of all 2015. So I even went to court and did a DNA test and then they came out negative that I'm not the father of the baby but she keeps coming back through my family uh, but uh, it's something I just ignore. So I just believe today she wanted just to embarrass me maybe in front of the members church but to me it doesn't matter because I know the truth whether she tries what I believe that's the reason maybe she ran away. So, so it's been happening and it has been happening when I was with her so it's not something that she doesn't know. So it has been happening for years now. So the reason she's doing this is because uh, some of my family members, they are communicating with her that she must do what, whatever they believe is my child. But uh, what is matters is the truth. Yes. And how are you feeling right now as the man of God has located the problem that was, I believe, was even bothering your wife? Uh, I feel so happy today. And uh, I believe uh, deliverance has come. And uh, I believe there will be breakthrough. Ma'am, can you please confirm the prophecy that you received today? The prophecy that we received today is very true. Yes. Why are you saying it's true? How did it affect you as the wife? Uh, ever since we got married in 2016. It's like it started in 2015. Then we wanted to do the DNA test. But they said it's not, like after they did the DNA test, it, like it was an issue. They said they, they, it's not clear. So I advised my husband to go to Apostle for one-on-one. -on -one. The minute he went there, the apostle told him that the lady that there's a lady who's claiming that she's pregnant of his child and it's not his child. So it's just it's a plan of Satan that he must not marry me. So that's when we proceed, we continued with the proceedings of marriage. So even though she was threatening us that she would come and stop the wedding, but because God was on our side, it came to pass. So it really affected me. But at the end, I, for, I have forgiven my husband for everything. And how are you feeling? I feel much relieved in my heart because this thing, it has been happening for long. Even the family was standing with her. Me and my husband were just standing, the two of us. Yes, yeah. And right now, as the man of God has spoken about it and he exposed the truth, what does that bring in your life? I have peace and it has confirmed everything that it was true what I was feeling in my heart because they wanted to cause division between me and my husband. It's just we said to ourselves we're going to stand together and no one will break us apart. You have got a great opposition. You hear me sister? Who doesn't want you to come to church? Yes. It's not true. It's true. It's a great opposition that always tells you many things. Yeah. And say God is not even doing anything for it's you. True. Yeah? It's true. And then even today. I forced myself. You forced yourself to come here. Yes. You didn't want to come here. No. It's like what they are telling you is like real. Something is pressing me down. Huh? Something is pressing me down it's to a demon. come. Come on, you demon. Can we just carry on delivering this lady? My name is Pepe. I'm yes. coming from Bramley. The prophecy that I received today was true. This morning I didn't feel like coming to church. It was like there's something that's pressing me down. 
and for the past two weeks I haven't been to church. Every time when I have to wake up, I feel tired. I feel I don't feel like coming to church. What are the things that you have tried to do in order for you to feel good? I've just tried to pray. I just tried to watch uh, Cherry's TV, and then I tried to drink anointing water. And by the and I thank God because I was located. Yes. How are you feeling that the man of God has told you the things that were really happening and without you revealing them to the man of God? I'm very happy. I'm very happy. I was praying that man of God can locate me today and I'm happy that he did that. Amen. We give glory to Jesus. Thank you, Thank you very much. There's a problem in your stomach. And, yes. uh, now you don't know what is it now. Yes, something, I feel like something is moving. It's like it's turning. Yes. Huh? Yes. And you have tried to pray against this. Yes. Huh? Yes. Where's your baby? With my mom in Soweto. So when was the last time you saw your baby? I took him back uh, last Monday because uh, he's teething, so he has diarrhea. I couldn't go to crash because they don't yes. want sick babies. How old is your baby? S seven months. So you are no longer breastfeeding your baby? No, but I will be staying with him. I'll Why him. are you doing that? Uh, because I, I had to take him, when I came back to work, I had to take him back to Soweto and I Do you couldn't. Know, you know the child that has been breastfed and the one of lactogen are different? Yes. Huh? Why do you want your child to be weak? It was, huh? I, I, I couldn't take care of him because two months I had to go back to work and it was just There was a time old. where your child was attacked in the night. I was crying, crying, crying. In a strange way. Yes. He... So, so these people are trying to attack you. Pray for your child, and I will pray for you. You are free. My name is Nkleko Chilan, and I stay here in Winnie Mandela. The prophecy that man of God gave me is true. Uh, I used to feel something moving inside my stomach and I would didn't understand what it was. It's not painful, but just weird, strange. I don't understand it. How are you feeling right now? Right now, I, it, it, at least I know that, it's an, because I used to take it lightly, but now I know that it was such an attack and I'm, I'm, I'm happy because usually I, uh, God delivered me from that thing. So I feel relieved. There's a demon that is following you. Stand up. There's a demon that is following you. Yes, man of God. You hear me? Yes, man of Where God. Where is your husband? He is in East London. Huh? He is in East London. There's a demon that is fighting this marriage. Yes, it's true, huh? man of God. Huh? It's very true. In yourself also, you are beginning to, you are beginning to wonder. Yes, it's very true. We don't you are, sleep. You are beginning to suspect this man. It's very true. Because of what is happening. It's very true, huh? man of God. It's very true. And that's why I'm seeing you in the house. You are lonely there. It's very true. Huh? It's true. Let me pray for you. You, you will overcome. Amen. I'd like to confirm the prophecy to be true. Um, my name is Siwangil. I'm from East London. The man of God prophesied to me to say that there is a problem with our marriage, uh, which is so true. Um, indeed, he said there is a demon fighting our marriage. I, I, I confirm the prophet to be true because they, we, we hardly sleep. There are things that are troubling us in the house. You know, we don't even know what is happening. Um, there are noises even on the roof. On the roof, in, indeed, I confirm that there is a demon because sometimes we do pray. You know the whole night trying to, to, to fight with it and that is the only time we find peace. Um, is it the only sounds that are happening to your roof or you guys also are having fights come? No, we do not fight, but we, there, is, there is a demon that is fighting. Yes, we can, we can see, we can feel that there is indeed a demon. God has revealed it to you. And how are you feeling right now as the man of God has spoken unto you? I believe the word of God that it's always true, he is faithful and kind, and he has never lied. 
when the man of God has said, he has said it's through the Spirit of God and indeed we shall be delivered. From today, I have overcome as he has said. <laughs> There's a dream, you are dreaming, which is a very strange dream, where you find yourself running. Yes, yes, eh? yes. But you don't know where you are running to. Yes, eh? yes. It's a spirit. Come on, you demon of confusion. Come on, out. Can you just pray with him? Okay, uh, my name is Emmanuel. Um, I'm from here with Mandela. Then the man of God they said uh, there's a strange dream that I'm that I'm having, whereby I'll be running, not knowing where I'm running to. I'm confirming uh, I'm confirming the dream to be true, whereby most of the times I just find myself being running, and sometimes I don't even understand the dream. I even don't understand what will be happening on the dream. So I confirm the, the prophecy to be true. And how did it affect you every time when you would woke up in the morning? Uh, it, it affects me whereby when I want to pray, I feel very lazy to pray and very tired most of the time. Yes. And how are you feeling right now that the man of God has spoken about this issue? Uh, now I'm happy. And I, I feel free in my spirit. Yes. I'm saying, listen, sister. I'm seeing a spirit of a Sangoma. You people, you have been taken to a Sangoma. All of you. And uh, now you, you are, it's like you are initiated there. And from there, your life became, changed to be zero. Long time ago. Right now, there's nothing to write home about. You are suffering. That's true. Huh? That's true. You are really suffering now. That's true. Come on, the spirit of song. Come on, put a mic in mouth. You hear the spirit. The spirit of a song. Touch your stomach. Okay, my name is Jeanette Sabola. Originally, I'm from Limpopo, but right now I'm staying in Pumola next to Foslora side. Men of God today prophesied to me about the spirit that is always monitored in my life, spirit of Sangoma. He said, a um, long time ago, while, while we were young, they took us to the Sangoma, and then that spirit is monitoring us. That's why I'm suffering like this. But as he said, it's a long time ago, when, when I was young, and it seems like they take us all of us at home, with my brothers at home, the way he said. So, yeah, that's what he said to me today. And he said it is stopping everything in your life. What is the things that you are trying to do and you see that, God, I'm trying but nothing is happening? Definitely, I do believe the prophecy, yes, because of I'm trying to apply for a job, nothing is happening. Now I'm struggling, it's been so long. I'm trying many things, nothing is happening. So I believe that spirit today, as it's been exposed, then it's, at the, it's the end of my suffering. I believe so. As a woman at the age that you are, there are certain things that you know that you want to reach. And when it's, it's, you cannot reach those things, how is this thing affecting you of you not getting a job to provide maybe for your kids and also for your family? Yo, that is so frustrating. I don't want to lie to you, especially as my like as a myself, I'm a single parent and a sister at home. I can't help them with nothing. So it's, it's so frustrating. Honestly, I don't know, but I trust God that today, as this as man of God has revealed what I was not aware of in my life, this will come to pass today. How are you, How are you feeling? Oh, right now I feel like I'm so shocked actually, yes, for, from the prophecy that I got, because it's something that I never thought of. But yeah, as he said, um, they took us to Sangoma. What, what, what I remember about Sangoma is myself, after losing my job in 2014, I personally went to Sangoma seeking help, but I couldn't get anything. Then I quit because of, I was like, it's something that I was starting myself in my age, start doing it in my age. So. It never worked for me and I felt that I've never raised up like that. 
Yeah, not knowing that previously while I was young, at home, the ones took us there. Did you know that? Yes. We give glory to Jesus for your life and we believe that from right now, those curses that were linked with you, they are broken and you are coming back with a testimony. Amen. Yes, they are. True trust God for this. Amen. Listen, I don't know what you are doing there, but you must not look at what they are doing. Yes, Daddy. You understand? Yes, Daddy. Because it will really confuse you. Yes, Daddy. I'm talking about where you are working. Yes, Daddy. Huh? Yes, Daddy. There's too much problems. Yes, uh, it's true. Sometimes you, you wish to search for a job somewhere. Yes, I've already started looking for a job. Huh? I've already started looking for a job. Did you tell anyone? No, I didn't tell anyone. Uh, no. So don't look at anything they're doing. Because God wants to bless you there. Yes, Daddy. You, you hear me? Yes, Daddy. Uh, we hear people talking about you. You will be lifted. Amen. Oh. Can you just put a mic in your mouth? That demon will leave there. Demon of stagnation. Okay, my name is Rahab Ngasheng and I'm from Tembisa Winnie Mandela. Um, the man of God prophesied me today concerning my work. Um, I was experiencing some challenges at work whereby I felt like I'm undermined at work and then I felt like my work was not useful. So he confirmed that I must stay where I'm currently working and then God, God will bless me there. How did it affect? Oh yeah, so it affected me to a point whereby I felt like I was useless in my workplace. I felt like I was not contributing any value in my workplace. So for me, I was very much discouraged to a point that I started searching for another job. And by the grace of God, the man of God located you. How are you feeling? Right now, I feel so blessed that I've got a direction right now. And then I know that um, the way I'm working right now is where God wants me to be. So I feel much happier about that. Hallelujah. Where's your daughter? Because it's like you are worried about your daughter. She's at work today. She's What happened to your daughter? What happened to you will never happen to your daughter. You hear me? So fear nothing. Touch your stomach. Come on. You demon. What are you doing to her? There's issue of her suicide thoughts. Suicide thoughts here. Bring her out. They are attacking you. You hear me? Yes. This is suicide thoughts that come to you. And yes, you, since I was young. Since you were young. Mm. Su suicide, like you want to kill yourself. Yes. And also you want to go away from everyone. Yes. You want to live your life. Yes. It's a demon. Are you aware of suicide thoughts? <laughs> yeah? No, I was not aware. Since she was young, she wanted to kill herself. Because it, it happens of what she saw. Of what she saw in your family. Yeah, it was too much. Even now she's stressed because she was very intelligent. So nothing is moving. I'm talking about what brought suicide, suicide thoughts. is because of what happened in the family. Yes, it's too much because we left my father's house empty-handed, so it was too much. We had to start from scratch. So that is why she had mind to kill herself. And uh, she saw your mom crying all the time. It's true. It's a demon. She's very intelligent, but they've attacked her. There's something that is closing your womb and then you feel pains. Yes, I always have pains and a moving object. Huh? I always have pains and moving object. Could you just pray for her? She will be free.
My name is Shitsun Shoprudas Mabunda. I come from Gyan but residing at Pretoria West. So Daddy prayed for me and he said he's, he's seeing a spirit of suicide. And I confirm it to be true because it started somewhere around 2004. I wanted to commit suicide and I wanted to run away so that everybody cannot see where I am at home. And your sister confirming your, the prophecy that the man of God has given to you, she said that you had to leave your mother's house and you left with nothing. You, you had to start from scratch. What was really happening that made you to really want to think about suicide? When we go from our father's place, it, we went up with nothing and my heart was so broken because it was a place where our heart was because it was our home. Then we went without nothing and we started renting and all the things until we get another stand. After they get another stand, they destroyed it. The municipality people come and destroy that house and we, start, we got another place then. It's the place where we are staying right now. And how are you feeling as the man of God has spoken to you? I believe that that mind of suicide has left you since when you had the voice of God regarding your life that killing yourself is not a solution. How are you feeling? Now I'm feeling so relieved. I'm, I feel so free because I was always having problem, thinking of so many things, thinking of going and no one know where I'm going to. But are you still thinking those things? Uh, no, I'm not thinking about that. <laughs> we believe that indeed as God has delivered you, we shall stay that way till the day that God will bless you and we shall surely come back with a testimony in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. Sister, please, you must reconcile. Okay. You hear me? Yes, Pastor. Huh? Yes, Pastor. There's a problem in your house. That need reconciliation between you and your husband. You hear me? Huh? I, yes. Come on. You wanted to leave the house. Yes. Huh? I can't hear you. Yes, I did. You wanted to leave the house. Eh? Yes. Huh? Yes, I did. Uh, speak louder. I did. You wanted. Yes. Stay there. You see, go fight for it. My name is Patricia and I am from Pretoria. Confirm the prophecy. So the prophecy that I got today is true. Uh, a couple of times I've thought of leaving my house because of the challenges I'm having with my husband. So I confirm the prophecy that uh, Apostle mentioned today to be true. How did it affect you? Uh, it, I think it was difficult for me um, because um, since my parents are late, I don't really have anybody that I can talk to and uh, you also don't want to tell people around you because you don't know how they will take it. So it has affected me in the sense that I've kind of had to deal with it on my own. And by the grace of God, the man of God located you. How are you feeling knowing that there is nobody to listen to but actually God is there? It feels great. Um, I think the other day I cried hysterically thinking about you know why I had to lose my parents so suddenly. But you know, for me today, I think it was confirmation that God is always there, um, irrespective of what I might have gone through, missing my parents and all of that. But I think the prophecy today for me confirmed that God is indeed with me. We give glory to Jesus for your life. We believe that indeed God has comforted you and you're coming back with the test. Thank you so much.